Kaya ang Dabao, baski saan ka mag... Pumunta kayo ang Dabao, baski saan ninyo gusto maglakad, magpasyal. Alam mo, ang binigay kong standard sa police, pati military ganito. You ask your wife or your beautiful daughter to walk and roam the streets of Dabao City at night until the wee hours in the morning. Pag nakauwi yan sila, hindi na bulis siya. Wala namang dumukot sa suso o sa pante. Wala namang nag-hold up sa kanila at nakangiti dumating sa bahay ninyo. Yun ang kabulin ninyo para sa lahat ng tao. Is Dabao City safe for a white female traveler? Madayo! I am current resident in Dabao City and while I might give the impression of being subjective with my assessment of the city's safety, I will try as much as possible to provide a personal account and observation of the city's safety. I understand that you have to categorize yourself since danger can be more prone to a specific type of person in some contexts. But I can assure you that the city is relatively safe for any sorts of travelers from a commoner's viewpoint. Multiculturalism is already evident in the city, with the waves of international students wishing to have quality education for less are coming in and American clients working with the local BPOs. Hence, adjustments in security are being made so uniformed personnel can maintain a peaceful atmosphere while not being too intrusive with the traveling experience. Smile, greet genuinely, and perhaps take photos with them. They won't mind. Being under the heat and nothing to do but to stay vigilant often wears them out. I've noticed that most Caucasian women who stayed here for more than a month have no qualms jogging in the early hours in the morning, which can say a lot of their perception of the city's safety. Expats are getting so common. The usual amazement we had when we were younger are gone and the younger generations don't seem surprised by their presence. But it would still startle us if you are fluent with the local language Bisaya, Shibuano. If you speak English, you will have no problem in navigating through the city and majority of establishments, whether it be a bank or hawking stall. People in it are willing to give a helping hand without compensation of some sort. If you feel like you have doubts in approaching someone for help, you don't have to ask for the police. Anyone wearing an ID can help you whether they are an employee or university student unless the situation is too grave for a commoner to help. The usual rules apply. If your actions cause any harm to either a person or an establishment, better expect fines and jail time. The system is not perfect, but respecting always behooves. I'd suggest as well that you have a traveling buddy or a proven trusted person residing here in the city. It will save you the time and mental space to keep researching of the do's and don'ts. After all, you're here to enjoy primarily. Also, keep vigilant, as how we always locals do. There is minimal perceived crimes taken against foreigners here since we are too proud to share of our heritage for us to cause any inconveniences to them. TLDR, yes. It's an 8 in a rough scale of 10 as perfect for safety. Davao life is here. These are five reasons why I love Davao City. Number one is safety. Davao is rated the safest city in the Philippines and it's even rated one of the safest cities in the whole world. They also have 911 here with a fast response time just in case you get caught up in a sticky situation. Also, I noticed that out here in the city, you see a lot of police cars, so that's really good. Number two is cleanliness. Davao is also one of the cleanest cities in the Philippines. The local government implemented policies and programs to encourage citizens to maintain cleanliness, such as the no littering policy and the waste management program. It's very rare to see trash in the streets of Davao. Number three is geographically balanced. You can enjoy the conveniences of the city while also being close to the beaches as well as the mountains up north. Samal Island and Talikid Island is just a short ferry ride right over the water and you can enjoy some really nice white sand beaches. Then north of the city you have places like Buda and Bukid Nome which are located in the mountains of Mindanao. So beach days and mountain getaways are not a problem. Number four is cost of living. Davao City has a cheaper cost of living 
living than other cities like Manila and Cebu, giving you the ability to have all the nice things that those cities have to offer at the fraction of the cost. Number five is that it's a developing city. In 2022, Davao's economy expanded by 8.1%, and it landed as the third fastest growing regional economy in the Philippines. And that number seems to be growing each year. In the city, you'll be seeing condominiums being built. You got Coastal Road, which is being expanded all the way down to Samal Island. They're also working on the construction of a bridge that will connect from the city all the way to Samal Island, which should be expected to be done in 2027. I think Davao is an up and coming city and it has the potential to be the next Makati or BGC. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm a foreigner in Davao area and the truth is, I haven't explored other areas and extent in the country. Culture is very different than what I am used to in Western societies. There is most certainly a learning curve and a lot of confusion accepting the culture change. It can be stressful at times, but this is part of living in a new culture. So respect it and don't get verbal or aggressive like in the West. Remember you are the guest in their country. Don't expect the system to change to your expectations. Aggression is very much frowned upon here, and it's the biggest complaint I hear from the locals that deal with foreigners. I've seen it in the stores as well. Davo City is a great place to settle for foreigners in my opinion. It's called the safest city in the Philippines for a reason. That does not mean you are completely safe from crime. Most of the issues I've endured being here are money scams. I've never felt at risk for my life once here. And even the minor money scams can be reduced if you stay away from online markets. If you need to explore these options, get a local friend to correspond for you. I learned this looking for a mattress and delivery. My friend and I responded to the same ad in same area. I was charged extra for the same service. I call it the foreigner tax and it's a small overcharge for delivery in this case. I personally laughed about it. I tried to buy a secondhand fridge and AC unit online as well. It was fairly expensive as the items were supposed to be good as new with a warranty. When the items were delivered, they were garbage and I had to throw them away. I was scammed. They did not honor their warranty as well. All I could do is report the scam and take the loss. I'll only buy new items now and do not use online marketplaces myself. I'll ask a friend to do my bidding. There is an area I'm aware of called Sasa. This area has been stigmatized as a slum area, but I've been there and did not feel any fear walking through the area. I saw poverty and pollution, but the people were very kind and helpful. I kind of stumbled into the area by accident while exploring different areas and getting lost. I'd hate to say it's a crime area because of the poverty I saw there. I didn't feel any more risk being there than anywhere else, but the living conditions were tough to see. Bottom line, crime is everywhere in the world and you are at risk of being a victim everywhere. I have personally not felt threatened in any way here. Honestly, the kindness and support of my community has been a real blessing. I have been overcharged, but that seemed to go away for the most part once my community saw me as a part of the community. Very good people, and I do see a lot of honesty with them. Poverty is the hardest thing I've seen here, and my issues isn't feeling that I'm at risk of these people, but more that I wish I could do more for them as a whole. Filipino culture is very unique and not easily understood by Western culture, but their culture stands on family first, and this has developed to such an amazing and caring society. Their family values are an essential part of their culture. It's traditional, conservative, and takes dedication to commit to. Foreigners are safe here overall.